Uh, welcome to the classic car enthusiast. Um, I just uh, started working today because I was feeling a bit awful with this flu, but I'm kind of working through it now. Things are getting a little bit better, so I started doing a bit of bit of welding work. I just want to show you what I was up to. So I put the the wheels and casters on this, and uh, it moves really well. I'm very pleased with it. It's it's very easy to move around, and you know I can spin it. So it's, uh, I mean, you know, it only needs to be mobile enough to, you know, to do the job. And then I've got brakes on each side of it. I'll just put some brakes on. And you can see, it's very easy to, uh, to work on there. No movement at all, on it, which is very nice. So, um, and I've done some work on this jig because uh, this jig I've, I've had for, oh, I don't know how long it must be, it must be about four years now, four or five years, four? Yeah, four or five years. And I bought the jig off a guy who had done a, uh, an E-Type restoration on it. It was an E-Type uh, Series 1, I think it was a Series 1 Coupe. And, uh, and we've used the same, exactly the same jig, but just put extended bars on it for the XKs. Um, and pr that's, I'm pretty sure that this will fit just about anything because um, you could make it to fit onto the bumpers if you wanted to uh, and, the, tu and, the, and the, the main uh, uh, box section goes right the way through the thing but the brake on it was pretty bad and what it was was it had two bolts so I'll show you now, I'll have to pick the camera up and show you and it had two bolts on the shaft which is not a good way of doing it because one is you have a very small surface area to pinch onto um, and you do tend to dent the tubular uh, if you've got a piece of pipe and you and you and you really tighten down on it heavily. Um, one is it doesn't stay in the right place and it and it does dent it. So I'm making a new system up and I'll pick the camera up and show you. So uh, I'll show you the the English wheel first, so you can see what I've done. So you can see, um, put the brakes on there, and it's just a matter of flicking them off. A little, you just flick them off, and then it's easy, very easy to turn. And then there's one in the, there's one in the centre there, as you can see at the back. And what I did was I've actually welded that one on. It was welded on something else. I welded it onto a plate and then bolted it on. So, uh, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. It runs really easily. Um, um, right. And the other thing I've been up to is I changed the. Excuse me a second. I changed the uh, the braking system on this. You can see the weld is pretty piss poor. Um, but this is how I bought it. I'm, I was going to actually do something with it because it's a bit lumped on there. But I bought it like this, and this is where it had the you put bolts in here that went against the shaft here. And like I say, what it does do it damages the shaft, and not only that, the uh, because it's on a nut, the threads. If you tighten it down too much, you damage the threads, and a couple of them have got bad. So what I've come up with is this idea. Um, I have a bunch of these. I got them from a scrapyard, and they're, they're basically just plain discs. Uh, some kind of flange with holes in it would, would have been the ideal thing, to be honest. Um, but I had this, so I thought, well, I'll make it up. Um, and so what I've done is uh, I actually cut the disc, the distance of this, because the idea is is that w with this jig, it can go up and down here on this piece and also it can go up and down here you can see there where the bolt's been pinching on exactly what I'm talking about with the tubular you can see how it's bent that in, it's bowed it in a little bit if I show you there's not a big deal on the square so yeah so the idea is you can go up here and you can go up here so what I'll do is I'll actually drill a hole not on this one because upright it's no, no issue but I will dr drill one in the bottom here the only downside with that is if you wanted to elevate this up and down a little bit, you'd have to drill another hole, but it's a very strong box, so it should be no problem. Um, I haven't welded it in place, I just tacked it in place just now. And what I did was made the two halves and then um, and then put them on top of each other so I know that the holes are in the, the same place. And basically what will happen now is, is I will build a, um, a piece like this. I've done one already, this should be cool now. Yeah. So I'll build a piece like this on it 
and it'll sit on that, that bit there like that, it'll go through the tube obviously. And it'll sit there, and one will sit there on the inside. And then what I'll do is I'll probably spring load the, the system so that I can actually do it on my own. Um, I'll get it so that this, so there'll be two of these, one there, and then, oh, and then another one on this side, so that that is the same all the way around, and I've checked it. But I haven't welded it in place because what I want to do is make sure that they do go in all the way around to, to each position. Obviously, that's staying stationary, the, the, the bolt. And, and you're rotating the thing, so I just want to make sure it is in the right position. I can elongate them a little bit. And there's only one going on. I don't think I'll need to, because the, this, this bar is so heavy and so big, I don't uh, believe it'll need a second one. But it is a bit awkward sometimes to put it in one position and then, and then keep it there. So uh, with that one, it just isn't worth doing because it's, it's just a quick knock-up job. Uh, and what I've been doing with the Mini is just shoving a seat under it or, or a box or something just to keep it on its on an angle. But I use this quite a lot, so I'm going to change it all around. And then what I'll do is completely weld down the back there, as you can see. But I want to make sure it all fits first before I do anything else. So that's what I've been up to tonight. Um, and I'll finish this off. I'll finish this off tomorrow. And... Uh, the only thing with it, with a, with a, something that's got a tolerance like that on it, this this sleeve, is you need to be careful when you're welding because what will happen is, is the weld might penetrate through. I mean, you want penetration on it, so it'll come away. But you can see that'll fit nicely in line there, and then another one, another one at the back there, and that should do the job. And as I say, I'll spring load it, so if I'm on my own, I can pull it out on a catch, and then as soon as I turn it one one uh, turn it'll, it should go into the hole you know, we'll see how it works out so uh, yeah that's it just a bit of an update let you see what's going on well, I'm well happy with the English wheel that, that's worked out real nice I mean it's only three cars it's not a big deal but it just it, the, the height is so much better here now it's right in line with your waist or just above the waist so it's really good and uh, yeah what else um, Oh yeah, yeah. There was one thing I wanted to point out. I was just washing my hands earlier, and I, um, I thought I might let you show you this stuff. I'm very, I'm lucky enough to have hot and cold running water in the in the garage. I have a little heater system there, and um, I use this stuff. And you can actually get it in the UK. It, it, it seems like it's a sand, but it's not sand. It's called uh, uh, Tursen Terra Quick, and that's the one in the UK. Anybody wants to? It's um, Henkel Loctite Adhesive Limited. Uh, Technology is House Wood Lane End, Hemel Hempstead, Herefordshire. Uh, if you need the number, just let me know. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. Might not do, but uh, but this stuff is brilliant. Um, as long as you keep the top on it, and what you do is if it gets a bit dry, just put a little bit of water with it, and it's kind of like a slurry. But what's nice about it is it's not like uh, uh, paraffin based like Swell Figure was and stuff, I don't know if it is these days but this stuff, if you've got really really manky oily hands this just, it, it, because it's so th fine whatever the material is that's in it, it says I think it says uh, um, for rapid effective where is it, rapid effective hand cleaning gentle to skin does not contain sand and it doesn't block the drains either um, it, absolutely brilliant stuff. I'm, I'm so impressed with it. Um, it just gets all the grease out of the little uh, uh, bits in the hands that you can't get to normally. It cleans everything just immaculately. Anyway, so yeah, that's the stuff. Turo quick, really good. And uh, yeah, this is where we wash up at night when we're finished. Anyway, so I'll uh, finish off on the jag and, and uh, talk to you in a few days. I get some more work done. So. Take care and thanks for watching in and, and bye for now. Bye.